A man of wrath stirs up strife, and one given to anger causes much transgression. Book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verses 22. Welcome to the ninth day of a journey from wilderness to Calvary. My dear brothers and sisters, there's a beautiful incident which is said about uh, Alexander the Great. When he came to India, as he was returning to, back to his place, he remembered the words of his people who told him to get a sage to his country. Thinking of these words, he searched for a sage and entered into a forest. And there he met a sage. He spoke to him and then he received his blessings. He found so nice in his presence. And then he said to this sage, Sage, my people wanted you to come to my country for which I am ready to do anything. And the sage rejected this offer. This, the Alexander Great got so angry on him and told him, you know who is that? Who is this speaking to you? This is Alexander the Great. You are the first one who have rejected this offer. You are the first one who have disobeyed to my word. And then the sage very coolly in a peaceful voice he said, Sir, you are saying you are Alexander the Great, but for me you are a slave of my slave. Alexander the Great asked for an explanation. Then the sage said, I have mastered the anger, but you have given into anger. And that's why you are a slave of my slave. Well, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's gospel, Jesus speaks about the anger. Jesus says that you have heard, do not kill, but I tell you, if you are angry on your brother or sister, you will be liable to hell. My dear brothers and sisters, recall the moments of your anger. How often you regretted the words that were spoken in anger. How many relationships that you have strained because of anger. How many times that you have lost peace of mind. We have a beautiful example from the book of Numbers chapter 20 verses 1 and following. There we read at the place of Meribah. When Moses leads the people to the place of Meribah, the people grumble. They scold Moses. They, they murmur against God. And uh, Moses was filled with anger. He was bubbling with anger. And that's where he turns towards God and asks God. God responds to Moses and calls him aside and tells him, Moses, Go and stand at the, before the rock and speak to the rock. And instead of Moses speaking to the rock, in the fit of anger, get confused, goes and strikes the stone twice. My dear brothers and sisters, as a consequence, Moses is not allowed to enter into the promised land. Anger destroys our mental peace. It destroys our physical activity and and makes us far away from spiritual grace. These three things happened to Moses. Firstly, when he was filled with anger, he lost his mental peace. Secondly, he had mishandled things and he has dwelt wrongly by striking twice the rock. And thirdly, he lost the spiritual grace of entering into the promised land. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the anger that Jesus tells us to avoid in today's gospel is the anger that is deep-rooted. It keeps boiling for a long period of time, years and even decades. It is an anger that is nursed and nurtured. It is anger that seeks vengeance. It takes pleasure in hurting someone or wishing evil on someone. Somebody even said that the word anger is not far from the word danger. The letter D may lead to something and unexpected destruction, doom and death. This is the kind of anger that we have to get rid of because we can really pray or offer sacrifices to God. My dear brethren in Christ Jesus, 
as we are in the season of Lent. As you are listening to this reflection, remember those people whom you have angered, the, the people whom you have developed anger for years, for months together. And also think of those people and observe your feelings, your heartbeat, your behavior, your thinking pattern completely changes. Only just if you think about the person whom you hate. And if you go on, develop this anger towards anyone, this can spoil us physically. It spoils our physical health, it spoils our mental health and we are ready to re lose the spiritual grace. As we are all making this land to receive the spiritual grace, may we not lose this grace by this small weakness of anger in us. Amen. If you like this small piece of reflection, kindly share and don't forget to contribute your little contribution for the promotion of this Liturgy TV. God bless you and have a wonderful day.